Oh, hello, welcome to The Bend. An indie horror game that looks really cool, side-scrolling, just looks really fucking cool. So, let's just get into it. Macabad Gum. Interesting, interesting studio name. I can narrowly separate the difference befixed the night sky and the darkness of the abyss, which I descend into. Okay. Squid! Ugly, maybe brainfish. Oh, shit. Is this like a Metroidvania? We can jump. Can we enter a door? It's just teaching me. I can jump. I have a slight jump pack. The game is... Oh, so I jump at first. And then a limited... A limited jet pack. Okay. Otherwise, it's just tiny hop or... If I hold the jump key, I jump higher, similar to Mario Star. Well, a tap would be like that. But a hold, you jump higher before the jetpack. You can do then a high jump and the jetpack, or... I don't know if I'd call it a jetpack per se, but you know what I mean. I don't think I can enter the building, though, or else it would probably tell me via the controls. Although I don't know the controls. And I think hitting... Is that, is that a living thing? It's going to be like in one of those hentais. Maybe. Yeah, it's definitely like one of those things in those hentai. And no, you're not allowed to ask me what kind of hentai do you watch, Nico. <laughs> There's no answer. Uh, at least that wasn't death. But yeah, you know, big spooky things. So we can think, hey, if you don't... If you don't like deep sea creepy things, oh god. What? Yeah. Are you evil? <laughs> oh, okay, it's. You're gonna. Ah. Oh. Oh god, I'm stuck. Oh, I already found a game breaking bug. Look at all those bubbles. Or maybe I can move out of them. <laughs> Nope. Game breaking bug. There you go, developer. I found a bug for you. Oh, that's what the fish looks like. Okay. So, hey, we're, we're back in the game, obviously. And get rid of the tutorial stuff. I'm curious what's to the left. Also, I want to know, can I open the door? Doubtful, but I'm curious if ASD and ZXC have any functions or not. And we don't also have a sprint. We just have to have, we just have this walking speed. So we're going to, I guess, explore what we can without dying this time. We're going to avoid all the things that look evil, like like this thing that's definitely coming towards me. Definitely coming towards me. Eh. Eh, it doesn't look too evil, but I mean, it does look at us like food, so I mean... If it were real life and there was a giant squid with very, you know, sharp squid teeth, you wouldn't want to get eaten. It would be very painful. And this thing, it's, it's, I don't, I don't want to even get into anything about that thing. The squid is a, a spooky, spooky but also scared squid thing. Uh, there's no point in going to him. Oh, I got another evil squid. Well, I want to know what that luggage is, but we're not going to be touching it anyways. We're just going to go into the deep depths and hope it's not fucking Cthulhu that's down here. And avoiding death. Here looks like a underwater beehive. There's no point in touching it. It's probably death. Unless there's like unique deaths for every creature, and then I'd have to make some kind of like all death montage. It's possible. Like look at this thing up here. Is this also from a porno? No, it's an island. Let's hug. Oh, we missed it. And when I say porno, I, I meant hentai. There's so many underwater things that probably are. Wait, I can't touch it? What? Or is it just not high enough? Ah, there we go. 
you know, if there was unique deaths for all the things in this underwater evil game, eh, why not? Why not find out what is that? Hmm. Oh, big fish. <coughs> what? No, don't, don't, don't. What? What? Don't fall like on spikes or anything. Okay, good, we got up. Big ass fish. What knocked me down the fucking elevator? I didn't get it, but. Oh, we're just gonna climb the way up. I, I'd presume we had to go down, but. Oh, you stay away from me, fish. I'm curious why the island hurt me by touching it though. Like, is it a creature in itself? It's just got a fucking like blanket covering its head. All right. Well, eh, oh, just barely. We went. No, we actually this was where we were from. If I hadn't fallen so low, I think so at least. I have no idea where I'm at. I'm honestly lost. All I know is we're going up. I would presume we're deep sea diving, so we're meant to go down. Maybe I'm wrong, we're meant to go up. If we want to go down, it's for death. If we want to go up, if we want to survive and get back to the surface? Like, what the fuck is this? Um, wait, um... Oh, um... It's one of those shrimp. Mantis shrimp? Hey, mantis shrimp. What's up, buddy? Don't eat me, please. Oh, God. Okay, it's... Definitely, I think, a, a mantis shrimp. I mm, can't get by him. I don't want to die, so let's just not disturb him. We're in his environment. We have to respect his space. Can we go up there? No, that's just it. Gotta figure out... Gotta figure out where we can and can't or shouldn't go. Mm-hmm. Well, let's just follow the right wall. Oh, a button! Oh, that's what they are. Wish the game fucking told me that. Shit. How many buttons did we fucking miss from the beginning, then? Like this one. Hmm. Is this the start, though? Ah, it is the start. Okay. Maybe... Ah, oh, we need to... We need to start eight buttons, and then maybe our escape will happen. That's what it is. Dear hentai thing, I'm sure there's a specific name, and it's just like it's a real life thing. Um, but not like I know aquatic names off by heart. Either way, so we know the objective: find eight buttons. One of which is right here, while avoiding angry jellyfish. Maybe we'll be able to complete this in one single sitting, as long as they don't ramble too much. Well, one of the things I will definitely probably do is go as deep as I can. A part of me thinks going too low is death. Like, if you go too low, you're just... It's like, what the fuck are you doing? I drop down. Now the question is, is that just... KO? Yeah, okay, so there's nothing down there. There's a limit to how deep you can go, unfortunately. I'd love it if they added, like, you can keep going deeper and deeper, but it's just like the objective's not down there. And there's just like some kind of really creepy, creepy evil. Hmm. Well, we're probably. Yeah, it's just. Oh. Oh, that again. Great that again. I'm not... Maybe that's death. But it just seems so buggy. Weird. Okay, well, we gotta restart again. But this time, I know what I'm doing. So, our, uh... You know, just, yeah. Perhaps there's no difference between such frontiers which likewise elude the sight of man. Dying from the depths. So we will know what we're doing. So I'm just going to be exploring. I just have to figure out 
How the fuck do I uh, avoid the? How do I avoid the uh, the mantis? Mantis mantis shrimp? I swear it's the mantis shrimp. There's a mantis shrimp. I I don't think I fully explained the mantis shrimp. The mantis shrimp, if it's the right one, I'm thinking though. Is a mantis shrimp where it's like it's got these like really fucking strong um, front arms and they just like fucking snap like a nutcracker. Can you eat me? Oh, the fish can hurt me. We don't want to get hurt then. Shit, don't drop in the dark. Good. Um, if the fish doesn't eat you, there's no unique death. A little unfortunate. But yeah, the mantis shrimp has these fucking strong ass arms. It can snap a crab's arm fucking off in one hit. The thing is just OP as fuck. Like, have you seen mantis shrimp attack other creatures also? Fuck. Damn it. Fuck me. Oh my god. It's like, uh... Okay, yeah, yeah. So it's like, I've seen like mantis shrimp videos and it's like mantis shrimp versus, you know, just add a bunch of things. No matter what kind of creature it is, it, its arms are like it is seriously OP. You should all check out mantis shrimp. If I'm thinking of the right shrimp, it's like a medium-sized shrimp, powerful fucking arms. It just destroys absolutely everything in its path. It, they're fucking like they're merciless bastards. All right, this mantis shrimp still is on our way. I'm not sure what it wants me to do. Maybe I need like uh, blind it enough until it hides in its shell because I need to get to the thing behind it. But there's a wall behind it, so there's definitely no way I can go around it. It just swipes at me. I'm kind of curious, because it's one of the last ones I would need. And I don't think I have a, a weapon on me. I don't know what would happen if I touched the bees. Like, I really don't want to get injured. I really don't want to, but maybe it's like a pile of shit that's... Oh god! No! Get away, get away. No, no. Why is it still following? Why is it still following? I really wouldn't want to get injured because there's a chance that I land on a slope. Oh, it's fucking off good. It's like I thought they were fucking like bees. Apparently not. He, he just took a nice swing at me, but he missed. Because I don't think I can fly over his head. We'll try, though. Once more. So there's no way I can turn off... Oops. There's no way I can turn off the light. No. Ugh. Thank God I didn't break the game. Yeah, I'm confused about this dude. What does he want? Oh. Okay, tapping the up arrow makes it so I can go a little further. Maybe that's what I need to do. Oh, it does make it so I can go actually further up. Holding doesn't make it so I can go as high up, but there's nothing there. Hmm. Tapping makes it so I can go further and higher. Interesting. Yes. Yes. Oh, come on. Really? Really, man? You're gonna not eat it? You're not, you're not gonna eat it, no? Oh! Oh, I thought it was going in at first. Damn. Alright. Come here, you little bastard. I'm not sure how I'm going to get it to the mantis shrimp because I'm going to be in between the two of them. But I will find a way. Come on. You want this squid, don't you? Don't you? Come on. Come on. <coughs> eh. Eat it. It's right there. No, no. No, get up, mister. No. Oh, I don't know what the, where the fuck I'm going. Oh, hey, I, uh, I still have the batteries turned on. 
I still don't know where the fuck I'm going. Come on. Just, just, oh, 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 shit, I made it. Oh my god, it was... Seriously, I could actually make that fucking jump. I just had to conserve the bubbles. If you didn't know that light, light tapping made it so you could get here, then you'd never have figured it out. Fuck these ghost things. This button. Fuck you. Annoying bastards. Okay, I'm gonna have to try maybe jumping across the entire thing. Seeing if there is another button. I mean, if I can get behind the mantis shrimp. Doubtful. It's just that wall. And the controls really are just arrow keys. An F for windowed mode of full screen, and escape to close. Maybe you need to bring the bees to them. Before I thought you needed to bring something to this launch pad, hentai, dick sucking fucking goddamn aquarium thing. But no, I was wrong. And then you have to wonder why the bees are there. Can I die to the bees? I've never died to the bees. Let's make it like the Wicker Man, or the Wicker, with fucking Nicolas Cage. And die to the bees, but also try to use the bees. Oh? They don't hurt me. Maybe I need them. But if I get damaged, I think they fuck off. That's the thing, so I need to not get damaged, too. Oh. Oh, I think I discovered it. So either you become a master at the jetpack and get all the way up there, or you go all the way around to, like, all the way around the map to the right side. I'd rather go the easy route this way, because I'm a master at the jetpack now. Otherwise, I'm sure not a lot of people are actually going to figure out where the fuck they need to go. Oh, 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 wait, wait. Oh, that's what I meant to do. Oh, my. And then, push. Everything. Everything. Everything becomes known. Everything becomes known. The fucking bees. The bees were the fucking answer the whole time. <sighs> okay, so we're gonna get the bees again. The bees were the answer for the top left, not masterful fucking jetpack skills. Although, I mean, I, I did amazingly make it. Who the fuck would have think these bee-shaped enemies? They're just... I don't know. Lightfish? that don't hurt you. I thought they're fucking bees. I thought they were underwater bees. Maybe that's my original mistake. I didn't think they were just friendly light fish, but I thought they were underwater bees and I was literally going to get stung. There's no such thing as underwater fucking wasps or underwater fucking bees that angrily sting you. Maybe if it was a Donkey Kong game. But this isn't Donkey Kong. So, I'm going to go to the Mantis shrimp with these bees and we'll see what it does and then complete the fucking game there we go you motherfucker killed me like five fucking times boom all I needed to do is scare it with fucking fluorescent motherfucking bees bees Fuck you, squid. The, the, the what is truly still missing from this game are gruesome deaths. Like the squid just fucking like just eats you like and you just get fucking just just fucking like just destroyed by their mouths like fucking dead space style. That's what we're missing. It's the only thing missing in this. Gruesome motherfucking deaths by spooky scary aquatic life forms. The fuck is this? 
You got to a puzzle now? Really? You making me do a motherfucking puzzle? Meow. Meow. I will solve the puzzle. I solved the puzzle. I'm good at instinctively, randomly understanding and beating puzzles like that seamlessly very quickly. To some people it takes hours and they're just like... Oh, you found the lost city of Atlantis. Or... Wait, is that just a snow globe? Was I shrunk down? The mission. You are to shrink like Ant-Man, become a tiny person, and find the lost city of Atlantis, which is just a snow globe that someone dropped in the ocean accidentally. An alien landscape indeed, one is which the icebergs are the cold remains of society lost. The cap of the mystery lifted. I must go deeper. Diary from the depths, entry to... Don't tell me to... Okay, the game's over. I thought this game was actually continuing to a new level. With the resources from Freesound and Scara Construct 2. Thank you for playing. Well... Besides the fact that I'd be more pleased with the game if it had gruesome deaths. You can't just be like, look at this dude, he's just like, help me, a tentacle's about to do questionable things to me that involve death, pain, maybe pleasure. And there's absolutely no gruesome deaths. Or pleasure. Mostly the gruesome deaths, like Dead Space style. If it had gruesome deaths, and a lot of aquatic life forms you're just meant to get the fuck away from. 10 out of 10. But being that it's just... Push 8 buttons. It doesn't get out of 10 out of 10. But it's still... A fun game. So I hope you enjoyed this gameplay of... The Bend. If you did, please leave a like, comment, hit that subscribe button, being a subscriber, hit that notification down below. Thank you for watching, and until the next time. Mm -hmm.